to the gardens. Damn, I'm lost. You went through the wrong. I went through the gardens, came up the wrong way. There we go. Finally made it. Right, into the crypt we go. Without burning. Hold on, there's a lever here. Uh, what does it do? Apparently, not much. Nothing. Hmm. It's down there, you see. All right. So have you pulled the lever? Yeah. Right then, let's go. Have a look. Um. Oh, we've got pressure plates. Uh, I'll let you go first. Ah. Holy. Wow. Um, this is impressive. Oh, we're locked in there. Certainly a very good uh, crypt. Mm -hmm. What's this say? Uh, what's that? Play scene five. Artemis is it? Bloody Cross. So it's play scene five here. Ah. Oh. Um. Uh, he, he didn't have a helmet, did he? When he was when he's buried. Um. Did he? I don't what? think. He didn't have a, a golden helmet, did he? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> um, some buttons over there. Didn't have a golden sword either. Right, um, <laughs> let's have a look for this. Uh... Ah, hold on. Play scene five. Yes! Come closer! An inaudible voice sounds in your mind. Where did it come from? The chanting you heard while above has become distant, and the people who chanted are nowhere to be seen. Who then is speaking? From the corner of your eye, you spy a shadowy figure beckoning to you from the stairway to the left, but it quickly fades. Did you imagine it? Was there really somebody there? Your skin begins to crawl, and the threatening image of the stark tombstone surrounding you certainly isn't helping your fear. Something feels very wrong in this place. The compulsion to continue returns, and Providence has supplied another exit from this room. This must be the route the others took. Your discovery of this opening worries you though. Is there any excuse for imagining what you saw? You press on. Right, so there's a shot. Sorry, a dark shadowy figure up in that top corner. Apparently, and um, oh, excuse me, we have so to go find us. Uh, power through on. death. Uh, you can loot it if you want. Edwin Bloody Cross. Edwina Bloody Cross. Yeah. Uh, Ebenezer Bloody Cross. Pontius Bloody Cross. Frederick Bloody Cross. And Esmeralda Bloody Cross. Mmm. Right, should we go off? Do you want any bones or rotten flesh? Mmm, I'd rather not. Mm. Right, so there's a wood. button here. Did nothing. Oh, ah! Well Let there be light! Um, You're locked out now, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Ah! That's um, cool. I like the lights. Behind you. Yes. Oh, it panicked me for a second because <laughs> it just started pouring down from the top. Nice lighting. Um. You examine the strange little room adjoining the crypt. There appears to be only one exit, which you could not possibly fit through uninjured, and the door you just entered by has sealed behind you. Panic sets in. You are trapped! Fear not, my child, the silent voice returns. I have brought you here for a reason. Kneel for me with devotion, and depress the sacred latch, and you will see the path. I can provide the answers you seek. 
You are not convinced of the voice's intentions, but there appears to be little choice. You can see no other way to proceed. Right, so we've got to find a way out of here now. Oh! Right, objective for this one is to pay the voice homage, uh, find the combination to proceed. Right. What does that do? Right, so we've got to try and get that to stay open. Um, no. These buttons do. It's on over here with a pressure plate, I'm assuming. Hmm. Just gonna press all these buttons, see if anything happens. Oh! We've got, we've got minecarts. We had a minecart then. Yeah, we don't have any more then, do we? Jackass. I don't know, another one might come. Um, that one. We should get more. It is a multiplayer map. Um. <coughs> I've just activated pistons. There you go. My car. Oh, well. You jump in. And away you go. Ow. Oh, it's dark. It's very dark in here now. Ah, oh, lava. And I've just lost my minecart. Again. Ah, oh, um, it's dark again. Hold on. I can't hold on. Oh, yes, you can. There we go. I'm on my way. Oh, did I end up back in the bleeding start room? I don't know. I'm on my way. Oh. I'm flying over lava. Um. This track seems to be floating. Um. Ow! 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 Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. How did I? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey, wait. Ah. Oh, hell. Oh. Wow. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. You had to hit one, didn't you? Panic. Panic as well. That's right. <sighs> and of course, we've took so long, everything has been spawned. Great. Right, so we died. Well, we got back. Change the game mode. Yeah, we had to use. Yeah, let's change game mode so we could uh, get back in here. Uh, anyway, the chanting, which was so distant, has slowly increased in volume and vehemence, but has somehow become warped. You no longer hear people; you hear beasts. Riffraff, the voice spits. Vermin. These creatures have tried to form a cult in my name but attaining the purity of my power. They deserve nothing more than the paltry existence that I have now afforded them as monsters. Nonetheless, the voice continues, the ritual they have begun must now be completed and you will be my instrument. You will show these monsters their folly. You will now place each of my sacred artifacts onto my altars to complete my summons. They will be sacrificed in my name. The compulsion this strange being has placed on you has increased in volume to the point that you can no longer control your own body. Your presence at this unholy place seems to have weakened what little resistance you had left to the influence of the voice, and you are forced to obey. Right, so we've got to go and put some artifacts on the altars. Yes, check the little note there. Yeah, there um, scene seven, objective, complete the summoning ritual. Right. Um, I want to. I want to attack one again. Uh, I wouldn't. Right, so we can't well, win there. Anyway. Oh, they're just curious. 
Ah, um, spawners. That's annoying. That means I can't kill them all. There's some gas tiers over here. Don't know what they're for. Oh, they're following me. Sorry for they stealing are. your gold. Your treasures. I take, I take it they're art these are artifacts then. They must be, yeah. And it wants us to put them on these pressure plates. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll throw you some so you can do the other side. Down there. What, how many? That's how many I got. Right, that's them two. Um... Are you putting them on? Yep, yeah, on that one. Yeah, but I can't seem to do it. Oops. There we go. You, whatever you did there, that's it. I think you only need to put it on one of them. Yeah, the, where am I going? Okay. I'm on fire. Ow, 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 ow. It's not worked, whatever it was. Oh, it has. It's opened portals. Yeah, but I can't get into the portal. Um Ow. You, can, you can now. Hold on, go the other side. You can't. When this front portal's not open. Try this back one. Oh. You can't ah. get into them. Hmm. Oops. Pistons move to. Ah, oh, I'm on fire. It's letting lava in. We need to move. There's a wall of gla uh, see glass ceiling. Yeah, but the wall's made of wool. Oh shit. Dig. Um, what with? I don't know. I don't have anything to dig with and I'm on fire. Oh god. I'm trying to take out these fencing. Oh. Um, I don't think the lava's going to get to us. Where'd that wall come from? Um, make the sacrifices. Oh shit. Um, make the sacrifices, which are all the pigmen. Why? Then we've got to. I can only think we've got to go into, <laughs> into the portal here, but. Can't be right. Ah, wait, hold on. Play scene eight. Here we go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Right, play scene eight. Don't know how I found that. Very well hidden. A strange tingling sensation appears. It is difficult to think, let alone move, but somehow you manage to struggle against the voice. You quickly snatch back one of the artifacts from its altar instinctively realizing that this will disrupt the voice's evil plans. Holy water gushes down from the ceiling. You turn towards the source of hope and struggle towards it and freedom from this horrible place. Uh, we need to go up. We need to escape through the water. Okay. Alright. Um... Oh. Yeah. Oh, sugar. I fell. Hello there. Good evening. How are you? Ugh. Oh, there's cobwebs up here. Ew. Oh, no, it's not. It's fines. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Right. And up again. I don't... He's not... Go, go, go. Look in here, zombies. Play scene nine. Wow, we got through that quick. Right, so oh, Distru disrupt the summons before completion. Uh, well, whoa! Don't push me down. The squeals of the dying zealots below follow you as you bathe in the sweet, sweet water. Somehow, a sapling of the tree of life has taken root in this tainted place. Where on earth did that come from? There must be good forces out there somewhere to combat 
the evil you have helped. My son, though you tried otherwise, you performed perfectly, the voice gushes. The life of each of the fools below have been sacrificed to me. Do you realize the power that gives me? I no longer need you, mortal. A weight seems to lift from your body, but is replaced by a sense of foreboding. What will come of this? All you wanted to do was to be a humble servant at the castle, but now you have empowered pure evil. You must find your way to the surface and warn the townsfolk of their impending doom. Right, so we've got to go back to the surface now. And, uh, oh god, uh, don't hit them, don't hit them. They're not the, the zombies. Oh god. Don't hit them, I don't hit them. Jesus I couldn't Christ. see them. I, oh, I thought they were pigmen. I saw pigmen going past. Shit. Um, well, I fucked that up. There we go. Right. What did I break? Uh, a bottle. You smacked, you threw a bottle on the floor. Did I? Oh dear. Don't know where I got a bottle from. Hmm. Are you changing your game mode back or. Just... Do you want to wait for the zombies? I'm gonna say they're not gonna attack you. Just destroy this uh, spawner. There we go. Wow. You broke the wall. Without stone. Yeah. Um. Right. I'd change your game mode back if I were you. I'm about to. Don't worry. Actually, get us uh, some swords before you do, so we can combat evil. Well, I don't armor as well. No, 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 no. Just sword. What? What kind? Uh, iron. Disappeared randomly. Right. Thank you. Right then, you can be sword back. I've got one. No, sorry, right. I gave him right. two. Oh, fair enough. Right, I've got some torches as well, so, um... There's one up there. Um, do, 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 only do. one person at a time will make a difference. Ah, well. Might as well not waste your sword. Oh, you pushed me off it. Just spawned one. Hmm. There we go. Um. Could you ah. not just place torches on it? Uh, we could have done, but there's nowhere to place the torches, no room. Ah. Uh. Um. Sod it. Oh, it's just put lights down. That's all. <laughs> Sleep now until dawn. No. Oh. <laughs> you can only sleep at night. That's soon to be corrected. And that's that. 